Alright, this is an updated uh, <clears throat> how to open up these Silverado lights and take out this uh, these two amber reflectors. This is just kind of a follow up to the first video that I did. So the first video that I did, uh, the only difference in what I'm showing today is the first one I had, uh, I showed how I was cutting in front of this lip here. What I have been doing, it makes it a lot nicer looking when you're all done, is actually getting in behind this lip because your uh, Dremel blade will fit between the black plastic and this and if you use the black plastic as your guide and go all the way around and also I'm, I've been cutting these tabs here um, right off flush um, you don't even notice it once you've done that and you just keep going all the way around this housing staying as close to that black as you can <clears throat> makes things a lot easier also in the first video one of the things that I had mentioned was watching out for on the inside here um, there's some chrome clips that hold this chrome housing in here um, don't worry about those if you end up nicking them nobody's ever gonna you're never gonna be able to tell and two when you go back through and seal this with the black silicone adhesive um, if you ended up nicking it you're just gonna end up going it over it anyway and it, nobody's ever gonna be able to tell uh, when you go down through on this side here, um, again, you're going to stay in back behind this lip, which makes for a great seal because when you seal this back up, the, uh, the black silicone is actually going to get sandwiched in between the black housing back here and this piece here. So um, leaking is, becomes less and less of an issue. The only t time you're going to have to get that hot knife out um, and maybe even use like an old pocket knife to heat up is back in here. Um, because your Dremel will not fit back in here. Don't don't come all the way out here to try and do that. Just get a hot knife out and uh, once this top is open you can slide the knife down in there hot and then just kind of work it out. Don't end up clipping this off. Do not, do not cut this off. Okay. Um, so gone. Let me clean that little plastic up. Don't even worry about it. As you can tell that's not a big deal. Nobody's going to be able to tell the difference. So I just made that cut and you can see how nice and clean that is back in there. You know you just go through with your knife and pick a lot of this plastic off but sticking right back in close there. And then when you seal this up you just put your black, put some black uh, tape right here along this line and then when you s put in that silicone you just kind of taper it right down there along that lip and uh, it's real clean, real nice. That knife nice and hot and then right in here at the top start cutting down in there. Alright so the Sierra headlights um, it's the same idea uh, as far as cutting, just stay as close to the black as you can, go all the way around. So this one's been cut open now. The, the trick with the Sierra lights is that this reflector piece um, is um, never comes out one way, unlike the Silverado lights where you just have two tabs down here to cut on each one of the reflectors. This you actually have to get in here. Um, most guys will take reach and try and snap it off. Now that's held in one, two, three, four, five, six places on here. Um, 
there's no way you can get this reflector out in one piece. So what I ended up doing is, if you look on these lights, there are these tabs, very accessible, that hold this chrome bezel in place. Now at this point some guys are thinking that uh, where's he going with this and if he's going to tell me to cut that bezel out, he's nuts. Well yeah, I'm nuts then. Um, so all around here and then so I've gone through and I've cut these tabs off. The trick is to cut them right flush with the black plastic and that will free up this outer housing here. Okay, and it will allow you to remove it. Now, keep in mind the entire time you're doing this, this chrome is fragile and you can't set this down on the chrome or do anything to screw the chrome up. Um, so, I've got it removed out, you can see. Um, some of you guys might be interested in this depending on some of the mods that you might want to do to these lights. But now when you carry this, I suggest that you hold it back here behind it and that way you can turn it over. Now when we turn it over you can see those clips are accessible. So what you're now going to do is you're just going to take your grinder and you're just going to go through and just grind those little tabs off until you can take your finger and push through here and that light will come off. You can also access the lip right there and work it off this way. But if you hold it up here, let gravity do the work and shake it off and let it fall off. If you need two hands the way to do this, um, I'll take a picture of it and include this in the video, is to use a, um, so you can see I've taken this, uh, kind of rigged something up here, took a regular clamp, uh, clamp here, put the, uh, clamped it and held it right here, it's, in, it's, it's held pretty well, um, at least good enough to do this. The next thing I'm going to use is this little tiny uh, bit here. And what I'm going to do is go in and grind off all these little tabs. And then I'm going to reach in from behind here and just kind of start nudging the lens off of uh, this side here. And let gravity do most of the work pulling it off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, you can see that. There we go. Nice and clean on this side. No damage to the chrome. Just take a blower, blow that bad boy off a little bit. A little bit of dust. cake. One thing I couldn't show when I was um, grinding, you can't really grind and have a camera in your hand at the same time, I did have a hold of it like this, so I was squeezing on the other side just to make sure I hold it, you know. I don't completely trust this to hold the whole thing, especially once I start uh, grinding on this and it starts to vibrate, so make sure you get your hand on this because you wouldn't be too happy if that thing fell out of there definitely would scratch that chrome so hold on to it here and then you know don't over clamp it here make sure it's tight but um yeah I definitely wanted to point that out